cannot lose. You just got to understand the, the concept of what I'm saying and then apply it, you know what I'm saying? Right. You will lose if you don't work. Yeah, yeah. You will lose if you think scarcity. You will lose if you're going after the deal. But you won't lose if you're going after the relationship. You won't lose if you're going after, if you understand abundance. You, you won't lose if you work your ass off, you know? So what up, man? How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you. You too, bro. Ah, so what you got going on? Um, just trying to kind of get a grasp on things, trying to figure it all out. You know, um, I kind of told you I've only been in the business for about six months down here. So, um, you know, a lot of my business so far has actually come from back in Michigan. Are you um, from here, or no, how long you been here? I'm, so I moved down here in 2014. Um, I played baseball at West Florida for a couple years. Um, but uh, I grew up in Michigan, you know, just south of Grand Rapids, so um, I just have more connections back there, and a lot yeah. of my friends are at that age where they're starting to buy houses, so I got a, refer, you know, a couple of referrals under my belt, um, stuff like that, but um, as for down here, it's, you know, it's been, um, it's been different than I kind of, kind of expected, you know, trying to just, you know, get my name out there and stuff like that, so. So, how long have you been selling? How long have I been selling? Um, I started at, at Coldwell Banker here in, in May. Um, kind of went through like a month of, of training before I even really like did anything. So, yeah. Um, I would say like middle of June to end of June is when I really started like you know getting out there and, and, yeah. and tried to start selling. So, um, but I've been doing um, like open houses for other agents. Uh, yeah. And, you know, knock my expired stores. You know that kind of stuff. So, um, just kind of basic. You know, just. Anything I can do to, to develop some business. So I guess A, what did you want to meet with me about, and B, how can I help you? Uh, a, I mean you are you're a proven agent. You you have experience. Um, you know, actually I saw one of your listings on the way out here, um, been on the water there. Um, mm. So my biggest thing has been you know trying to get information from from other people who who are successful in this business, who you know have a proven track record. Um, but B. The, the biggest thing that I'm struggling with is, you know, just in my office in particular, I'm young, I'm 24, and, you know, the next closest person is, is not, you know, and it's just, there's a, there's an older style of thinking, there's an older, and it's been hard for me to adapt to kind of that stuff. Um, does that make sense? You know, kind of, I know, like, there's a proven, there's proven ways of doing things and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know, it's just, I haven't been able to connect with some of the agents and some of the people that I've met with and, and stuff like that, so, um, you know, I, from what I've looked at from, from you, you know, has been great. And, you know, are you in the, are you in the coaching program? I, I, so, when we spoke the other day through, you know, through messaging, um, I pulled up the, uh, I pulled up your website and I started it, mm. um, but I actually have a second job too. Yeah. Um, I work in a restaurant, um, so I've been, you know, the last two days I've been busy with that, um, but I, and stuff like that. I think that's so. going to solve a lot of your problems. You know, there's a 90 day action plan. It takes you step by step through the course. And then we do live training every two weeks. And like, I mean, I'm answering questions, um, you know, DMs and emails and phone calls and text messages. And you wanted to meet me, so I'm here. Like, yeah. you know, I'm answering every little single little thing. And um, so it's a really a full service coaching program for nothing, right. for absolutely free. Um, but the course really lays out how I do my business. How you do yours may be different, right? But the cool thing about the Zero to Diamond is, is yeah, I did it circle prospecting and stuff, but if you don't want to circle prospect, if you want to do it through open houses or for sale by owners or buyer leads or whatever, it's all the same principles. Because there's like the way that I do it, the circle prospecting, the weekly email, and then there's the the, the mindset behind the relationships over transactions and the business is unlimited, you know, losing deals is great and, and all that stuff. You know, outwork everybody. All that stuff like blends into any form of success in real estate and other industries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, since you haven't really like dove into it, the, the biggest thesis is is that there's so many property owners in your area, you can't call them all, ever. Right. And so that creates a situation where business is unlimited because you can't call them all ever. I mean, you could spend all your time 
day and night calling property owners and never get to the end. And if you did, that would be years and years down the road. Now you got to start all over because all 30% of the properties have changed hands or people, people change their mind on a daily basis. You could call the same person back in two weeks and get a different, idea, you know, a different response to what they're thinking about doing. I mean, it's just completely 100% unlimited for everybody. And when you understand that, see, I went all in on that because the same emails you, you guys get, I've been sending those emails with my newest videos and podcasts and stuff to local agents here, every agent in my MLS for almost two years, telling them exactly what I'm doing, my competitors in my direct local market. Because I'm, I'm all in with that it's unlimited. You can't, take, you can't do it all. If I want to quit making calls, then I might have a problem. Somebody might come in and take some of my existing clients, you know? Yeah. So like the whole thing is, is yeah, it, you can think scarcity if you're not gonna put the work in, but if you wanna put the work in and talk to people and, and create relationships every day, then you don't have anything to worry about ever. Not markets crashing, not agents stealing your business, nothing. Yeah. Not Redfin, not discount brokers, none of that stuff, you know? Yeah, no, my, my thing is, is, you know, I, Obviously, I want to be successful in, in anything that I do, um, and that's been my thing. Is when I first started, you know, I kind of had the mindset, I'm gonna sell a million dollars right now, and that's, you know, that's been the kind of struggle is, is how can I sell that million dollars? You know, that's just the price, whatever. Well, that's like three deals. Yeah, it is. It I is. mean, that's not a lot. That's, but as a new agent, it's tough. Yeah. So I get that. It's been the the biggest issue that I've had too is is you know people look at me and and they see that I'm younger and they kind of just brush me off and stuff like that. So I've been trying to be, you know, as like knowledgeable about everything as possible, you know, trying to, when, when people ask questions, have the answers for them. And I know I'm not going to always have the answers for them, but. Never. Right. You'll never have all the answers. See, this yeah. is where a lot of people get mixed up is, is they want to get all the, they want to have all the answers and they want to get, they, you know, they want to have everything and they're scared if they're going to get asked a question they don't know. Dude, I don't know anything. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know anything about the properties and stuff. If you saw the video where the guy called me out of the blue asking me about one of my listings, I didn't know the lot size, I didn't know the siding. I'm not saying that, I'm not like proud of that, right? But it, I'm just, it's just like proof that like, you don't have to know everything. It's okay to say, I don't know, let me check. Yeah. Because that even makes them trust you more when you show that you are vulnerable and you're willing to admit it, A, and B, go work hard to find the answer and get it back to them really quickly. I mean, that's just another touch. I don't want to know. I don't want to know everything. I don't want to know insurance. I don't want to know flood planes. I don't want to know. I don't want to know that stuff, you know? Do I want to know the basics, the basic ideas about like, I want to be a specialist in my market as far as the certain things I need to know. Like I can tell you any building down here, I can tell you how much condos are going for in every building down here. Like I got that memorized because that, that, that's important. Right, like, yeah. that, like that means something yeah. and I'm in it. I'm like in the game. But like knowing, knowing what the condo fees are every month, no idea, right. you know, so. You just have to pick and choose what you think the most important parts are. And normally the most important things to remember is the things that you have to remember because you're in it, because you're checking the hot sheet every day. You need to check the hot sheet every day, new listings, pendings, and close. That keeps you on top of the market and you know what's happening in, in, your, in, in, in your special specialty property, you know, whatever that is. And you can kind of stay on those subdivisions and complexes, you know, and know what's going on in real time. And then you'll see something come up listed or sold and you'll think, oh, I need to call so-and-so that owns something in there and tell them about this. Yeah. There you go. There's another touch. You're providing a service to give them real-time market info before anybody else. Yeah. That's the advantage new agents have over old, uh, more experienced agents is time to actually look through the market, study the market, call people, tell them, give them the information before anybody else gives it to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
Yeah, that's, you know, with, with me going for, you know, a lot of the expired listings and, and stuff like that, that's that's one thing that I'm trying to do is, is just stay up on that because it's right there when I'm looking for expired listings. Is that the only thing you're really doing? Um, no. I mean, I, I, the, the three, well, I guess the four things I've really been doing are, like, my sphere of influence, like I said, I've, I have three referrals back home now already. Um, the uh, expired, FISBOs, and then open houses. Those have been the four biggest things. Um, been working with, on finding a good, like, farm area kind of stuff with, with my branch manager, but... You know, a, a lot of print marketing, he, just a lot of things that I, I don't necessarily believe in, you know, or things that haven't clicked with me yet. Like, I, I haven't figured out a way to go about that that I, like, truly believe in. Now, yeah. That may be an excuse, maybe not, I don't know, but, you know, I know that I just need to do it. Yeah. And, and you know, get out there and, and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, those are probably the biggest things that I've been doing so far. So how many calls are you making? How many calls? Like I, cold calls. How many cold calls? Um, I've, for a while there, I was doing like five or six a day, um, mm. you know, but just <laughs> to be completely honest, I was just getting shut down a lot and I just wasn't having any That's success. the problem. Yeah. You're not making enough calls. Okay. And then you discouraged yourself by not getting shut down. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, like, I went through that. Everybody goes through that stage of getting shut down. Yeah. But then... Like, it's up to you to say, okay, whatever, I gotta figure this out. It's like social media. You see people with 100,000 followers, you have 500, you're not getting any likes, you're not getting any followers, but you know, somehow, people get to 100,000, and you just gotta keep pushing through it even though it's not easy, right? It's the same thing with the phone calls. You gotta keep going through that stage. See, the thing about getting shut down is you're letting them shut you down. Right. You got to go hard back to them and say, look, hold on a second. I'm not calling you to sell to, for you to sell your property. I'm not trying to get you to sell your property. Yeah. I'm not calling to see what, what I can't do for you. I'm calling to see what I can do for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, hold on a second here. You got the wrong person here getting upset with me or shutting me down. Like, I'm different. I'm, I'm trying to actually help you. Yeah. If you don't see that, that's fine. We can go our separate ways, but don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... Like you got, you got to, you got to get some skills. Yeah. And the only way you can get skills is by making calls. Yeah. You making five a day, that's horrible. Yeah. How many would you recommend a day? A hundred at least. hundred calls a day, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because through my program, you get Red X, you get Geo Leads, you get the dialer. You 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 plug up, plug in a subdivision. It gives you all the numbers, and then you hit dial, and it starts dialing them automatically. And you just sit there and say hello and start talking to them. Their information is on the screen. You know, yeah. it dials them for you. That's right. how you can make a hundred. Okay. You know, you, like if you use a single dialer, you can make a hundred in about literally probably four hours, right? Mm -hmm. If you use triple dialer or double dialer, you could get through them quicker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I used to have triple, I used to do triple dialer. Um, but now I'm more like, I want, I want quality over quantity. Yeah. Right now you need quantity, yeah. right? Yeah. But like, so you need to do double and triple dial. Then, but I want quality, so I did single. I've been doing single for a while, but now it's not quick enough for me because it took me two hours to do 45 calls the other day. So I'm gonna bump it up to double dial. I'm gonna do double and just play with that and see see how it goes. But uh, have you seen me make live calls and stuff? Um, just, for, just from uh, like videos through uh, Instagram and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, see, the YouTube is full of videos with stuff. The, the course has a bunch of videos of me making calls. The uh, I made live calls in the Facebook group Monday, Tuesday. I made live calls. It was crazy. Yeah. It was nuts, dude. I called 45 people. I got like four new clients and one buyer for after the first of the year. It's been two hours, yeah. you know? That's awesome. I mean, if you did that every day, that was 45 calls. If I did that every day, I would have four new clients every day and a buyer every day right. or a seller. Four new clients and a seller. Four new clients and a seller every day. Yeah. And no, they're not all going to pan out. But all you need is one or two a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like closings are happening every single day. Yeah. So like you're, if you're working and you're talking to enough people, it's going to happen. Yeah. If you're not putting in the work and talking to enough people that you've never talked to before, then it's not going to work. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's the only, that's the only, you know, block yeah. between making it and not making it is are you talking to enough people per day you know and then of course the weekly email to stay in touch with everybody you've ever talked to that just keeps everybody you've ever talked to in tune with you yeah. and maybe they'll call you back to do a deal right. 
And if you provided good service and they loved you and you went over the top, they're always going to come back to you and they're always going to remember you because of that email. Yeah. So you don't have to like worry like, uh, I don't need to stay in touch with them and I call them and I need to send Christmas cards. You don't have to really worry about all that because they're getting that weekly email and they're, you're, you're staying in yeah, front exactly. of them. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. So it makes it easy, dude, where you can scale your business. Yeah. The weekly email makes it to where you can actually scale your business as big as you want because you're only spending an hour a week on as many people. Like I have 13,000, you know, like 3,000 open it up every week. I spend an hour a day and I can grow that. I can have, I could have 50,000 in there and I would still spend the same amount of time. So I can scale my business without putting more time into it and then I can continue making calls to get more clients. You know what I'm saying? It's a snowball. And I, I have the time for it too. I mean, you know, like you said, a new agent has more time. Like I, I just have, I have yeah. the time. You know? Yeah. Even, even if you know, hundred calls took me three, four hours. You know, I, I still have that time. You know, I, I do. Um, the, the the expired listings. The reason that I kind of went more towards that and dispos and stuff like that. Yeah. Was because I was dealing with more people who were like in the market or you know like like at least like had an idea of selling or buying or stuff like that. You know. And so that's. I, and I told you I was I was getting shut down, so I think that's why I went away from. Another thing about time. the expireds and stuff is that so many agents are calling them. Yeah. But like, you get so much experience as a new agent calling a hot lead, so you get a lot of experience up front. But then you get shut down because so many agents are calling them, so they're kind of have their their blinders on for yeah. aid. They're like have their block up, like another agent, get them out of here, you know, leave, 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 leave. Yeah. But when you circle prospect. You're calling neighborhood that you pick out. You pick out the price. You pick out what subdivision, what properties you want to sell. You pick, yeah. and then you call them. They're not getting called by other agents. Yeah. They are open. They are friendly. They are. They want to hear from an agent. They want to know what's going on with the market. And as long as you can get that tone down and be friendly and and, and make them feel comfortable with you and work on that skill, the people yeah. skill of of filling them out and and uh, reading them on the phone, then you win because you'll, you'll make so many friends through doing that with property owners that own properties you want to sell. Yeah. They buy, they sell, you get their email, weekly email. After a couple of years, you're balling, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's easy stuff. Yeah. You just got to do it. Right, yeah, that's, that's what the thing is, is getting out and doing it, you know? I've been working out really hard for like six months now and I'm not where I want to be yet. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm doing the right things. I just got to keep doing it. I know I'm eating right. I know that I'm working out right. I know that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. And I'm trying to get better every little step of the way. But I'm not where I want to be. And that could be frustrating because I'm six months in. It's like, man, I should be where I want to be. I put in a lot of work. That's like real estate. You know the phone calls is going to get, you know the phone calls is the right work. But will you feel like you're balling after two months? No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But you got to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Communication, voice to voice, is the key. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, that's something that I definitely you know, need to work on. Um, Just do it. Yeah. Don't think. Yeah. Don't uh, don't think. Don't be scared. Don't do nothing. Pull up the addresses. Hit dial and just let it start dialing. And just start talking to people. Screw up a bunch. Yeah. Because every all the all the call sessions for the next year for you are practice because all those people won't remember you called them the next day. Right, yeah. And so you can just practice on these people, do a bunch of deals, get really good at making phone calls, and it's all practice, and you made a bunch of money. Yeah. And you have this huge database. Now you're way better. Now you know every call you make, you're like the man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's just part of it. Yeah. You just gotta go through it. Okay. Like right now, I feel like when I make calls, it's just butter. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't miss. Yeah. I had a lady get mad at me the other day you know, she's like, how'd you get my number? And I asked her if she owned the condo and she's like, I don't think that's any of your business. And she was co coming at me really wild. Yeah. I was like, ma'am, I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to help you. She's like, oh yeah, I'm sure you are looking out for my bitch. I said, I'm glad you recognize that. By that time she was hanging up on me, you know, yeah. but, and then I just called another, had a great call, got their email, had another great call. It's just like, I can't miss, because if, if, you, if you, like, there's no way to lose. Like, give me, give me a scenario where you have a phone call session and, you, and it's a loss. I mean, you know, I, that's, you kind of changed my way of thinking, you know? I mean, that there's, I guess, when I was making the phone calls, so, with, um, like I said, I'm a co-banker, and, and one of the programs that we have is called AMP, and we just, it's like a 
kind of a month long training process and we have to make calls in class. And that's when I was doing the most calls, but I was taking those rejections maybe, you know, the wrong way. Uh, I was taking like like that lady you just spoke about, like I a call like that I probably would have been like, Oh wow, that well, that, that really sucks. But, you know, like I, I understand that the thing, here's the thing, like, no, you can't because here's the thing. Now I don't have to worry about her anymore. Yeah. And I got better at dealing with somebody like that. Yeah. If you have a phone call session and you get nothing out of it, not a single email, nobody was nice, everybody was hateful, that's still a win because you got that experience under your belt. There's so many facets to, to, the, to the layers of, of, of success of this stuff, dude. Like, you make the calls, you don't get anything, but you learn a lot. Because each time you're like self-developing yourself. It's self-development, you know what I'm saying? So each email you get is 10 to 20 deals. So each email you get, you did 10 to 20 deals. So if you got four, you did like 100 deals that day yeah. over a 10 to 20 year career. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you gotta look at it. Like, I'm gonna rack up 80 deals today. Yeah. I didn't do a deal, but I got four email addresses. Or I got five, whatever. I, I, just, I just did 100 deals, yeah. you know? What, you know, like, like number one, get out of here, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm here, see what I'm saying? Like when you think like this and you really apply what I'm saying, it's easy to get there. And then if you know how, the, how hard the struggle is, you know, like over the next five years it's gonna take to get there, but you gotta go through it if you wanna get to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So like, if, like you learn something, you get clients, find somebody who wants to buy now, buy or sell, that's a deal now. You get people that don't wanna do anything, but they gave you your email, you had a nice conversation, that's a deal later. I mean, there's just no way to lose, dude. Yeah. There's no way to lose. Yeah. You win. If the market crashes tomorrow, you win. See, this is what agents don't understand. We make commissions. It's like the stock market. When the stock market crashes, the stock brokers are still making a killing because people are selling to get out of the market. They're making commissions when they sell. Right. Same thing with this. You know, as the market's going down, we're selling people's properties for them, they're in trouble, they gotta go. Buyers wanna buy right now because it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of opportunity. And there's a lot of urgency because the buyers wanna buy right now. And the seller's gotta sell right now. And all the agents get out of the business because they don't understand what I'm saying. And so I'm trying to spread that message really deep, you know, around the world so that less agents get out of the business when the next big crash does happen. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the goal, it's to reduce to reduce the failure rate, that's the, that's the plan. To, to help the industry understand that the crashing market is a good thing. You know, like it's not good like, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like yeah, a lot I, of people I, I, lose I their stuff, but it's, but it's mother nature, it's inevitable. You can't help that it's gonna happen. Yeah. So you just step back, you, you let nature take its, take its path, and then you help people do what they need to do. Right. It's all about helping people. You know, you're helping people get out of those situations and you're helping more people get into the situations at a better price and stuff. Yeah. That makes sense. Unfreaking limited, dude. Whenever whenever the market crashes, you call property owners. You do the same thing. You say, what can I do for you? Yeah. You need to sell, you need to buy, you want to hold, you got an agent already, what what's what can I do for you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's been, you know, I, I think I mentioned to you that my family's kind of in property management and, and construction and stuff, so I have like a background in the real estate world. But one thing I, you know, didn't really think about is, is before I got into the business is, is bringing people value. You know, even when you're not buying or selling for them, you know, like just bringing people value, just like you were talking about. And that's one thing that I've heard from a few different people is, you know, even if you don't help them buy or sell right now, you know, if you can just bring them value and bring them something that they can use, you know, that, that, that's, that's huge. So. They'll remember forever. It's like a buyer that's not ready to buy, but you show them property anyway. You spend a lot of time with them, even though it's obvious they're not going to buy. Yeah. What do you think happens? They love you forever. Yeah. They refer all their friends to you, and in two years when they get their credit straight, they buy. And then in five years from then, they sell it and buy another one. Yeah. In the meantime, they referred three people to you. Yeah. The people they referred to you loved you so much because you did the same thing with them. They referred three people to you. Yeah. Now you've done 10 or 20 deals over a buyer that didn't buy anything. Yeah, that's huge, that's huge. Yeah. You know how many deals I've done like that? Like I show property and they didn't buy anything, but I that put them on my weekly email. They come back to me three years later, buy something, buy another one, sell stuff, refer people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. can't lose, bro. Right, yeah, that's huge. You can't lose in this business, you cannot lose.
You just got to understand the, the concept of what I'm saying and then apply it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You will lose if you don't work. Yeah, yeah. You will lose if you think scarcity. You will lose if you're going after the deal. But you won't lose if you're going after the relationship. You won't lose if you're going after, if you understand abundance. You, you won't lose if you work your ass off, you know? I was, I got shut down a few times and kind of got away from the calls and then I closed the deal through the open house. So that's kind of, I, you know, maybe had the wrong mindset about that, um, you know, but making a hundred calls in a day is easier than hitting three expires in a day, you know, like actually going to knock on expires doors. You know, Listen, like, man, I love door knocking. It gets you in front of owners, talking to them, but very inefficient. Yeah. I got an agent up in uh, Michigan, Ben Steven. He didn't like the phones, right? Yeah. He was a good door-to-door -door salesman before he got into real estate. He took my scripts and he went door knocking and killed it. He was getting like five, six emails a day, right? Well, now it's snowing up there. He can't door knock, so he's like, but he's such a hustler. So he's like, well, I guess I'm gonna get on the phones and try this. So he's been doing that for like two weeks since it started snowing. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, put money on it that you want, you'll never door knock again. Because you can call so many more people than it takes to walk to each house and knock on doors. Like you can just call person after person. Like the, the auto dialer just like. Yeah. And so uh, he did like two or three call sessions and then he told me, he was like, I will never door knock again. Because, <laughs> okay. because it's so efficient. You can just sit in your office in front of your computer and just call so many people. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's awesome. For sure. For sure. Um, that's something I definitely need to implement a little bit more. So a lot no, of, no, 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 no. Yeah, you need to go all in, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, there is, there's nothing else. Yeah. Tell me something better. Yeah, I mean, there isn't. There's nothing, yeah. dude. Like, if you don't have anything to do, you know, like one day when you wake up and your 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 calendar is completely clean, you don't have any appointments, you have nothing. You should make phone calls using the Red X dialer and Geo leads for literally eight hours straight. You should do it eight hours straight. Take a bathroom break, pack your lunch, do eight hours straight. If you don't have anything to do, if you show property all morning. You don't have anything on your calendar the rest of the day. Make call. There's nothing you can do that it, like I like I like I don't care what your website looks like or your business cards. I don't even care if you have business cards. Like I don't like like people are focusing so much on the stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah. They're spending time like developing their business cards and their website and getting their email all put together and all this stuff. Yeah. Dude, it don't matter. You got to be talking to people, man. Like we got bills to pay. Yeah. Getting the business card. Listen, listen. Getting getting the business cards doesn't pay you anything. Neither does putting a website together. Do that stuff later after you start to pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in survival mode. Yeah. Like this is do or die.